Hello! Right, now, um, I want to record this because I thought, okay, this will make an interesting video-ish. Sorry, I'm looking over there, I shouldn't be. This will make an interesting video, I hope. Um, Treasure Island, one of the problems, what do I... There are a couple of things I need to make. One of which is a sea chest. Now, I was thinking, do I buy one? Do I get one somewhere else? What do I do? And then I figured, I have this, this blue toy chest. I've had it for years, and it's just, it's basically just blue, and I realised I had, like, um, some sticky roll stuff uh, that's kind of wood effect. And I thought, well, hang on, what if I paint this up so that all these bits become, like, black or silver or something, and then I, then I coat this with the wood effect, and I should, in theory, be able to make it look like a wooden chest. So, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and make a wooden chest. Um, who knows? It might go terribly. It might go fantastically. Now, at this point, unfortunately, it's like just after midnight. But uh, I haven't got much time left to do this thing, so uh, I'm going to start by priming it tonight. Hopefully, if I prime it tonight, then by tomorrow I can get to work on the other colours and, and, and the weathering. So, um, wish me luck. So... I've given it all uh, a primer, and as you see now, as you can probably see now, I've started going over it with silver, um, a nice chrome spray paint. Um, the inside here is all lined, or starting to be lined, with the, uh, uh, the wood effect sort of paper stuff, but it seems I actually got the wrong one when I went to buy some. Um, I think that's the right one. I didn't replace it with the same shade. It seems like there was a different shade in... I think I got these from Poundland, actually. Uh, but there was a different shade when I went to replace these ones. And I don't know what the original one was, so I might try and find a darker one. But if all else fails, I mean, this one should do uh, against here. So all that's left to do with this one now is I've got a black... Once this is dry, once the silver is all dry... Uh, so that's like going to be, as you see, the steel bands here. And then all around the edges, that, that's the idea, is that that's iron or steel or whatever. So I'm going to paint over with black. Um, so I've got, a, I've got a black spray paint there. And then uh, I've got a tip, I've got a little trick actually that I picked up from uh, Tested.com. So I'm going to try that out. It may not work, it may work, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I've been dying to test it out though, and this is the perfect project for it. So... Black spray paint is going to go over the top here once this is dry. This is still very, very wet. Um, and then, once, once, I've, once I've done the layer of the black, the only thing left is the red oxide. Um, this is red oxide, isn't it? Yes, transparent red oxide. That's what comes next after the black. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to be straight, basically strip off, hopefully strip off some of the black and then I'm going to dilute this down and try and just use use like a, a mucky rag lob some of this in the mucky rag go around the edges and just try and dirty it all up and then go over with a clean rag uh, and try and take this stuff off so what will happen, hopefully, is that all the areas that I can't get into with the clean rag this stuff will have gotten into and it'll start looking like rusty and, and kind of a bit bleh, which will be great because it will mean that I'll be able to um, oh, yeah you can just tell it's still wet, it still stinks um, yeah it'll look like rust has started to gather just on the edges and just on those little bits that you can't really get in um, hence the paintbrushes which I haven't opened yet, I went and bought a whole load of new paintbrushes because I can't find my old ones anyway, um, I've used up a can and a half of primer last night um, on this. Uh, guess it's time to go and buy some more primer. For now, though, I'm going to leave that dry, and I'm going to have to leave that till tomorrow, I think. So if I come back um, looking completely different, it's because I've come back to this another day. Uh, you'll you'll also be able to see the backdrop, uh, the Treasure Island backdrop. I got it set up last night because I was kind of bored and doing stuff. Um, it's a bit worse for wear, but it kind of looks cool. You've got the sort of tropically trees up in the bottom. You've got this, the the sand, and then you've got the you've got the beach. Um, I'm actually going to have to hang this lower, so the trees are going to be sort of down. Top of the tree line will be here, on the actual set. 
and then above that will be blue fabric uh, just for the sky uh, because this is only like four foot and I need uh, four and a half foot and I need it to be six seven foot ideally I need it to be seven foot so my actors can't be seen behind it so what I'll do is I'll pin this or I'll attach this to uh, a back cloth and then this will just go over the top I also now this is pretty cool let's just take you off the stand now I also have a really really cool other little thing that I picked up um, which is a palm tree a lovely little palm tree um, and the other thing is here right I've got roll I've got loads of this backdrop stuff left I've no idea what I'm gonna do with it um, literally it's a case of Oh, lovely, lovely palm It's weird seeing a palm tree in the background. That's kind of, it's kind of cool. Yay! Um, yeah, so palm tree, back cloth, uh, there. As you can see, because it's not full height, so if I, I'm six foot two, and if I stand behind it, um, it's kind of like a foot off the ground. I'm six foot two, so it's about four inches too low, so it's about a foot and a half, foot and a half there or thereabouts too short. So the idea is that up here is going to be like a blue cloth. And so this will be down sort of about here. And then there'll be blue cloth above. And we'll see how it goes. So Treasure Island stuff. It's actually been really fun today. Uh, bear in mind, I've done this after um, a long stage door shift as well. Or well, not a long stage door shift. It was just a normal stage door shift. But it was a stage door shift nonetheless. And um, yeah, that's what I've done it after. Yay! Uh, but yes, here we have, we have our, you can see, you can see the primer didn't quite cover all of the blue. Um, that's, that's kind of my fault because I was pretty bad at it. But you can see where I've gone over the primer and then over the silver. The silver actually looks pretty, pretty good, I hope, close up. It's all looking fairly cool. And then, actually what I like here is I went over this with the primer, then the black, then some of the silver. And you've got like this, you've got a bit of, I don't know whether the camera's picking up, but you've got a bit of, depth and a bit of texture there, um, just where I, I sprayed a bit lighter on some of the edges, as, so hopefully that, that will get picked up. And then inside you see here, I got, went over with a really, really bad job, you can see the bubbles, I'll have to go over with a knife and just pop some of these bubbles here, uh, get rid of these air bubbles, and smooth it out, in fact I might do this all over again if, as I say, the um, I don't think the colour matches, the texture matches, but I don't think the colour matches. So I might go over that again. So, um, I'm now going to try, uh, I've, I've primed and I've got sort of a base coat on all the important bits of the, uh, of the chest. I've got some silver of what are going to be the bands of the chest. And one of the things I'm going to try is to, um, is a trick with toothpaste. Uh, I saw this on Tested and basically the idea is that uh, where you want something to look weathered, uh, you use toothpaste and you smear it on sort of just various areas and then you go over it with your top coat. Once it's all dried then you come back with a wet cloth or a damp cloth and just wipe it off and hopefully what should be left is you should see the undercoat and the top coat should be taken off as well as the toothpaste. So I'm going to try this, I don't know how well it will turn out.
And here it is, all finished. Well, for the most part. I mean, I might add a few more of these like silver details onto each of these little knobbly bits. But for the most part, the chest is done. So I turned the plastic chest into, um, well, what will hopefully suffice for a sea chest. It was a lot of work, but you know what? I'm actually quite pleased with it. I think it looks pretty cool. Still, I'm not entirely sold on the black. I think I'd have, I wish I'd have gone, gone with the silver, but still, there you go. That's me making a prop. Probably one of the most boring videos I've ever created, but you know, who knows? Maybe somebody will like it. I don't know. Thanks for watching.